Hello everyone, welcome to Puff Time, the time where I sit down, smoke a cigarette, kill my lungs, and talk about what's on my mind. I do want to apologize because I haven't done one of these in a while. I know you guys have probably been wondering where I've been. Um, but I'm back and I'm here to talk about um, anger some more. Uh, we're almost done with this session. There's going to be probably three more videos on this topic and then I'm going to move on to my next topic which is going to be depression and I know that's going to be um, a very tough one for me to do because I'm still currently going through um, some depression so it's gonna really hit home for me um, and I hope that putting out those videos is gonna help a lot of other people too because a lot of people I know personally are going through rough times right now too so um, I'm gonna start putting those out to help people that I know but um, I did want to go ahead and finish up anger so I can get that done so there's not, you know, two topics going at once because I know that can get kind of confusing, so. Um, today's, or this video's topic is um, anger reflects inferiority feelings. Um, basically, uh, anger can be an emotion that really makes people feel worthless or inferior. Um, just like it can be an emotion that makes a person feel superior to other people when they're the ones dishing out the anger. Um, you should strive to relate to others as equals, uh, neither elevating yourself above them or accepting a position of inferiority. You should never ever ever feel like you're under somebody just like you should never feel like you're over somebody. Um, feeling like you're equal with people is very important um, because your self-worth should be looked at as something that's of importance. You should never feel worthless just like you should never feel better than anybody else. Um, but everyone feels inferior at times. Everybody has those times where they feel worthless or like people could do without them. Um, they feel useless, they feel pathetic. Everybody's got those times, so if you feel like that, it's normal, it's okay. Well, it's, it doesn't feel okay, but it is. It's, it's an average emotion, it's a normal emotion. We all go through that point where we feel useless, uh, worthless. So. The most common escape is to seek an edge of superiority. Um, for example, silent treatment, uh, talking crap about people, um, try and intimidate people. Most of the time, if you feel worthless, um, you seek out feeling superior to somebody. Um, I know a lot of bullies in school will do that. Um, if they feel that they're not um, understood, uh, if they have a rough home life, um, I'm not here to give excuses for bullying. I'm just saying that a lot of times when people bully, it's because they feel inferior somewhere else, so they have to kind of assert themselves. They have to show that they're superior. They have to make fun of people to feel good about themselves. Um, no one wants to be treated lowly, but instead of seeking equality when this happens, we inwardly try to gain an upper hand. Um, and I just kind of made a list of uh, times when I feel um, inferior or insignificant. Um, one, I often have a hard time listening to someone who is frustrated with me. I want to offer a rebuttal. Um, if somebody has some pent up issues with me and they're kind of like unloading on me, I, I don't, I don't want to listen to it. Um, I want to just defend myself and I don't try and listen to their side. I just try to jump on where can I defend myself? Um, how can I use this as ammo to fire back? Um, two, 
I fret or worry too much when people make decisions that will directly affect me. Um, a lot of that, for me, has to do with social anxiety. If people are talking about, yeah, let's, you know, we're going to go to the party or we're going to go hang out with a whole bunch of people, I start to worry. I'm like, well, I, I can't handle myself in those situations. I don't want to do this. Um, three, when someone has wronged me, I may stew for quite some time wondering how to get even. Um, that's, that's me. In a, excuse me, in a nutshell, um, if I feel like I've been wronged, I'm going to plot my revenge. I'm going to sit back and think, well, how can I get them back? What can I say? What can I do to make them aware of how they treated me or make them feel like crap? Um, attempts to be superior are, in our childhood, tendency to be competitive. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I take games... Um, I don't play sports, but I take video games very seriously. I get really competitive, like Mario Kart, uh-uh. If you fired a banana at me, you better look out, because I'm going to be firing a shell at you. Like, I don't think, this is not how we play. I'm about to be first place. I don't know what you're trying to do past me like that with your little mushroom boost. Uh-uh. I'm about to get ahead of you. Don't, don't, don't even go there. Don't even try that. That is, no, that is not okay. Um, that's just an example. Of course, life is not a video. That would be really cool if life were a video game. I would probably lose a lot though. I'd have to have a lot of lives because that would suck. Anyway, um, us wanting to feel superior, it, it links back to us being competitive in our childhood days, or even now. You know, sometimes that happens too. But it, it links together. Um, the craving to be superior doesn't cease when we become adults. It intensifies because we have more options for manipulating other people. When you're a kid, there's only so much you can do or say because you you have like you know authority over you because you're younger. But when you get older, it's like, oh, I can actually do this. I can actually say this. I don't have mommy or daddy here to tell me no. I can tell you off in a heartbeat. I need people to stop shooting because now is not the time. Um. It's like a seesaw. Uh, that's one of the best ways I can compare it. You know, if you're if you're arguing with somebody, if you're trying to be superior, and somebody else is trying to be superior, it's like a constant. How much can I add? Well, how much can I add? Um, and it's it's just like this back and forth thing where it's like a competition. Whereas why don't we just try and treat each other equally and respect each other's opinions and be okay with that, then try to one up the other person. That's just it's not cool. Don't do that. Um, Recognizing equality. To avoid the seesaw, we must acknowledge that we are all equal in human value. Respect each other. Um, one, I have no right to speak condes con con condescendingly to anyone. I don't have a right to do that. I don't. You know, you, you gotta you gotta take into consideration what have they been through. What have, what have there's, there's different determining factors here. Um, two, being different doesn't mean a person is better or worse than I am. We're all individuals. We're all individuals. We all have our own quirks, our own perks, our own uh, differences. It never means that you know, so-and-so can do this, so they're better than me, or I can do this, so I'm better than them. Three, if I must confront somebody, I can do it with respect. You don't just walk up to people and be like, hey, yo, you know, I, I gotta confront you about this, and I'm gonna be the most disrespectful, arrogant, cocky person I can be because I'm better than, don't do that. Don't do that. If you're ever going to confront somebody, please do it res with, with respect. Don't approach them aggressively. Just approach them like they're your equal. Four, being in a position of authority does not give me greater worth than another person. It doesn't at all. Um, I'm not a manager, but an example would be a manager versus their workers. You don't treat your workers like they're lab rats. You don't treat your workers like they're scum. You treat them like, hey, you're doing this job for me. That's awesome. 
Five, no one has the capacity to make a truly accurate judgment over another. Do not judge people. You have no right to judge other people. You, you just don't, so don't do it. Six, if someone judges me, I am under no obligation to receive their opinion as fact. If somebody's sitting there... Cicadas are loud tonight. If somebody's sitting there judging you... You don't have to accept their judgment. You don't have to say, hmm, maybe they're right. Um, hmm. Nope, you don't have to do that. You do what you do because it's you. You do you. Let them do them. I'm sure there's a rap song that's about that. I don't, I don't know. Don't declare war. Communicate with respect. We're not in a war zone. We're not in a battle zone. Respect each other. This is not politics. It's life. Uh, minimizing evaluations. People are obsessed with grading performances. Whether it be their own or others' performances. People are constantly looking to see, well, are they doing a good job? Am I doing a good job? Who's doing a good job? Who's performing well? Who's messing up? Um, the inability to be perfect can result in anger. That, that goes with the performance thing. If somebody's not uh, perfect at something, which, hey, guess what? It doesn't exist. Um, they're going to think, well, uh, I'm, I'm angry about it. I'm, I'm upset. I can't be perfect. What? So people, people usually get angry over something that doesn't even exist. And I'm talking to myself, too, because I'm obsessed with perfection. I'm obsessed with being perfect, but it's not... It's, it's not possible. We're not capable of it. So don't get angry if you're not perfect. Don't get frustrated if you're not perfect because no one is. It's okay. Uh, we're human beings, not human doings. We be. <laughs> we be. <laughs> we bees in the trap. Stop it. We, we exist. We are. We don't, we don't do what we do, but we don't do. That doesn't... It's hard to follow, but... We, we exist, and that's, that's okay. That's it. That's all we do. That's all we are expected to do, is exist. We don't have to constantly do. We don't have to constantly be perfect. We don't have to constantly strive for that. We could just exist. Uh, s sidestepping human evaluations keeps us from being aggressive and competitive. Um, just ignore it. When people are trying to evaluate you or understand your performance or grade your performance, just ignore it, avoid it, um, and you won't be so aggressive or competitive. So that was um, the inferiority bit. Um, and the next uh, topic, the next video, um, I'm going to talk about why anger lingers. Why does it stick around? Why is it there? Why does it hover? What is what is anger doing over here? Why is it in my vicinity? What's what's it doing? Why is it hanging out? We're not pals. Anger, what are you doing? Why are you here? What's going on? Am I still dealing with this? Am I still angry? Why why is it here? What's what's happening? What's up? Okay, so uh yeah, but that was it. Uh thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for my next puff time. Bye.